Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today let's make a long sleeve ice dyed spiral. The shirt was prepped like normal and I have it turned inside out. I'm using a pair of locking tweezers to begin the spiral. I'm going to put the spiral just about even with the armpits of the shirt. By the way, down in the description for this video, I have links to a lot of the tools that I use when I tie dye, including these locking tweezers. I also list the dye colors that I've used on the shirt. Okay, so here's the color palette that I've chosen for this shirt. And three of the dye spin colors are new colors that I've never used for ice dyeing before. So I'm excited to try them. Since I'm gonna ice dye the shirt, I need to make myself an ice barrier. And so for that, I'm using some silicone cake molds. Before I begin applying the dye, I'm gonna divide my shirt into eight sections. I'm making sure I take each one of the lines through the center of the spiral. I'm beginning by applying Vintage Purple from Dye Spin. Next I'm going to apply Dharma's Brushed Steel and I'm going to alternate between using the colors on the left and the gray colors on the right. So the next color I'm using is Dark Cherry from Dye Spin. I'm going to apply Flint Stone from Dye Spin. Velvet Orchid from Dye Spin. Charcoal Gray from Dharma. Huckleberry from Dye Spin. And I'm going to end with another line of Flintstone. I'm going to add an additional sprinkle of soda ash over the top and then add on some ice. I put the shirt aside and I allowed the first layer of ice to melt and then added a second layer of ice to see if I could dissolve a little bit of the undissolved dye that was left sitting on top. I allowed the shirt to process for another 24 hours and then took it to my utility sink to rinse. Okay, so this is what the shirt looked like right before I started rinsing it. And as you can see, the dye's gone through really well to the back side. So I started rinsing the shirt in cold water to rinse out the soda ash. Then I gradually warmed the water up to hot and continued rinsing to rinse out any of the excess dye that didn't bond with the fabric. 
When the water was almost clear, I put the shirt along with some Darmus textile detergent into my washing machine and I washed it using a hot water cycle. Then after the shirt was washed and dried, this is what it looks like. Okay, so what do you guys think? I really like this shirt. I think it turned out looking really pretty. I love all the different color splits from this color palette. Most grays split really well, just because it takes quite a few different colors to make a gray. Like I said, this was the first time that I've ever used some of the dye spin colors. And I'm really happy with them. I think they look really pretty. I like the combination of the orange that showed up in the shirt and the different green, like dark green that showed up in the shirt. I even have some blue in the shirt. It's just really pretty. I think it's very attractive to look at and very interesting. I also like all the different lines radiating from the center where the ice melted and the dye ran. I didn't incline the shirt, but it kind of has that dye movement like I did incline it. So overall, I'm really happy with the shirt. I think it turned out looking really pretty. And if you guys have enjoyed the content of this video, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.